Today I'll be showing you how to make gluten-free oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Unlike many typical gluten-free recipes, these cookies are so soft, sweet, and delicious that even those that don't need to eat gluten-free will enjoy them. Don't forget to rate my video and leave me a comment if you enjoy it, and you can always find a copy of the recipe at snugglebunny.com. Let's get started. To make your own gluten-free oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, you will need one cup of softened butter, one cup of light brown sugar, half a cup of granulated sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one and a quarter cup gluten-free flour mixture, one teaspoon of guar gum, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, three cups of gluten-free quick oats, one quarter cup shredded coconut, and one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You'll need to make your own flour mixture using a combination of gluten-free flours and starches in three equal measurements. You'll need two parts flour and one part starch. The combination that I prefer for these cookies uses an equal ratio of coconut flour, arrowroot flour, and potato starch. Begin by combining the butter, brown sugar, and white sugar together in a large bowl. Use an electric mixer to beat until smooth. Beat in the eggs one at a time, and then stir in the vanilla. In a separate bowl, stir together the flour, guar gum, baking soda, and salt. Pour this dry mixture into the wet mixture and blend until it's just combined. Now it's time to mix in the oats, coconut, and chocolate chips. Use a spoon to scoop the dough onto a baking tray. Bake the cookies at 325 degrees for 12 to 16 minutes. Allow the cookies to cool on the tray for about 10 minutes before transferring them to a cooling rack. This will prevent them from crumbling. These cookies will last for several months in the freezer. Store them in a plastic container and when you're ready to serve, simply microwave them for about 15 seconds to warm them up. I hope you enjoyed this delicious gluten-free recipe. Don't forget to rate my video and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to see more gluten-free recipes, please let me know in the comment section below. See you next time!